us have some word problems involving fractions. A camp employs four men, six women, 12 girls, and eight boys. In the middle of the summer, three girls are fired and replaced by women. What part of the staff is then made up of women? This means that okay, three girls are fired. So that means we now have nine girls and they are replaced by women. So we add three more women. So this is now nine. What part of the staff is made up of women? So we want the total number of women over the total number of staff. How many women do we have? We have nine. All over, what is the number of staff? We have four plus nine plus nine plus eight, right? Here, four men, nine women, nine girls, and eight boys. So that's 4 plus 9, 13, plus 9, 22, plus 8 is 30. When we simplify, this is divisible by 3, divided by 3. So we have 3 over 10, letter D. What is the decimal 0.7 written as a fraction? So we are just converting a decimal to fraction. How do you do that again? You copy without the decimal and then over, determine the power of 10 that you will use. You only have one decimal place, so 10. That's it. So the answer is letter D. What decimal is equal to 3 fifths? So you convert 3 fifths to decimal. So you divide the numerator with the denominator. This is 6. Right, but 0. 0.6 is the same as 0. 0.60. Now, class, remember that it's also important that you know the famous fractions and the corresponding decimals. Okay, one fourth is 0. 0.25, and then take note that one half. We all know that that's 0. 0.5. What is three fourths? Three fourths is three one fourths, correct? But one fourth is 0. 0.25, so 3 times 0.25 is 0.75. Okay? So take note that this 2 here just came from 1 fourth being equal to 0.25. Then other famous fraction would be 1 fifth. So it's also nice if you have memorize them but you only need actually to memorize one fifth one fifth is equal to point two therefore class what is two fifths two fifths is two times one fifth we have two point two so that's zero point four so similarly what is three fifths zero point six four fifths is zero point eight because this is 0.2 times 4, right? Because 4 fifths is 4 times 1 fifth. Is that clear, class? So for this, you just need to remember that 1 fifth is 0.2 and then automatically you will know the decimal counterpart of this, okay? Which of the following is a decimal form of this? Okay, you can pause your video and try to solve this. What do we have here? This is actually 70 plus, what is 7 over 10? 0.7 plus 3 over 1,000 is 3. What is 3 divided by 1,000? You just have to move the decimal places, 3 decimal place because you have 3 zeros here to the left. So that's 70.703, letter C. We want to divide 17 and a half by 70. You have to convert them first to improper. What is this? 17 times 2 is 34, plus 1 is 35. Hence, we have 35 over 2 divided by 70. How do we divide again? Division becomes multiplication and 
the second number, you get the reciprocal. 35 and 70 are both divisible by 35. This is 1. This becomes 2. Therefore, the answer is 1 fourth. Let's look at this example. We want to add 4 fifths, 2 thirds, and 8 over 15. So 4 fifths plus 2 thirds plus 8 over 15. Okay, what is our LCD? What is the number that can be divided by all of 5, 3, and 15? What I just do is I always look at the biggest number, right? And then look at their multiples. What are the multiples of 15? I start with 15. Is 15 divisible by 5? Yes. Is 15 divisible by 3? Yes. So that's it. My LCD is 15. Okay? Now, just to show you, how do we now convert 4 fifths in such a way that denominator is 15. So what do you need to multiply to 5 to get 15? That is 3. So therefore, you also multiply 4 by 3. So 12 over 15. Where did I get 3? You can think of it this way. 4 fifths. So what you do, you divide the LCD by the denominator. 15 Divided by 5 is 3. So 3 times 4, the answer is now 12. Okay? So that's what you do with everything. You divide with the denominators and then you multiply. Okay? So, going back, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 4 is 12 plus 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2 is 10 plus 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 8 we get 8 what is the LCD of 2 3 and 4 we get the biggest number and start with its multiple First multiple of 4 is 4. Is 4 divisible by 2? Yes. But is 4 divisible by 3? No. And then also for 8, it's not possible. 8 is not divisible by 3. But for 12, yes. Correct? So the LCD is 12. Just like what we did earlier, 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus 1 is 6. Plus... 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2, 8. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is... So therefore, that is 14 plus 9 is 23 over 12. The answer is letter B. Subtract 3 fifths from 9-11. Take note that when you have the word from, where will you start? You start with the second number. So 9 over 11 minus 3 fifths. What is the LCD of that? Now take note that if two numbers have no common factor, that is their GCF is 1. It's easy to get the LCD. The LCD is just the product. Remember, uh, that is only true if the GCF is 1. For example, 3 and 5, their GCF is 1. So their LCM is just their product. So similarly here, 11 and 5, They're, they have no common factor, right? So their GCF is just their product, which is 55, right? Again, 55 divided by 11 is 5 times 9, 45, minus 55 divided by 5 is 11 times 3, 33. So that's 12 over 55. The answer is letter B. In this example, we have order of operations, multiplication and 
division. But since they are tied up, you just have to perform whichever comes first. So therefore, we perform the multiplication first. 7 eighths times 2 thirds. What is that? 2 and 8, common factor of 8. This becomes 1. And this becomes 4. So we have 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 3 is 12. This part here now becomes 7 over 12. And then we divide by 1 8. Division becomes multiplication. And then get the reciprocal. 8 and 12 are both divisible by 4. This becomes 2. This becomes 3. 7 times 2 is 14. 3 times 1 is 3. The answer is letter D. Find the product of the following. 3 halves times 6 times 4 over 9 times 1 over 12. If there's no denominator, that means it's 1. 6 and 2 divisible by 2. This becomes 1, 3. What else? 3 and 9. This becomes 1. This becomes 3. 4 and 12 divisible by 4. This becomes 1 and 3 also. I have 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. It gets cancelled out. What's left in our numerator? We're left with just 1, right? 1 over in our denominator 1, 3. That's it. The answer is letter B. Let us now compare fractions. We have two methods. Turning the fractions to similar fractions or same denominator. And then the second method is to convert them to decimals. Now to choose which method um, is better, it depends on the problem. What do I mean by that? There are problems wherein it's easier if you just use method 1 or method 2. This is method 1. Method 1 says that you have to convert them into same fractions. If we have 3 fourths and 5 ninths, 5 ninths, what's the LCD of 4 and 9? That is 36, correct? They have no common factor. Their GCF is 1. So their LCM is just their product, okay? This becomes divide, right? Divide, then multiply. 36 divided by 4 is 9 times 3, 27. 36 divided by 9 is 4 times 5 is 20. So therefore, which one is bigger? 27 over 36, the one with the bigger numerator, right? So the answer here is no. The second method is to change the fractions to decimal, right? Just like in this one, look at the denominators. It's difficult to find the LCD of these three numbers. So that's why it's better if you just convert them all into decimals. What is three-fourths? Three-fourths, we know that, I told you in our previous slides, that that is 0.75. Let us convert five-sevenths. It's equivalent to 0.714. And lastly, 11 over 20. 11 divided by 20. 0.55. Let us now compare the decimals. Since we have here three decimal places and then we have also two, we have to convert them all into three decimal places so that we can compare them. How do we do that? You just add zero on the right, okay, of your decimal place. So therefore, which one is the biggest? They're already arranged in order. So that's it. This is already in order. In descending, remember that descending means from highest to lowest. When you have ascending, increasing, it means increasing from lowest to highest. What 
what about this one? Again, you can pause the video and arrange these fractions. What method did you use here? Is it method 1, turning them into a single fraction, or method 2, turning them all into decimals? In this case, it's easy to turn them into similar fractions, right? Because 15, 5, and 3, it's easy to see that the LCD is 15. This is, again, just 4 over 15. 2 fifths. If the denominator is 15, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 2 is 6. One third as 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 1 is 5. So from largest, the largest is 2 fifths. If you look at your choices, it's automatically letter C because this one starts with 2 fifths. But it's actually correct, right? This is first, second, and then third. Which of the following fractions is the smallest? Now, what method are you going to use here? Look at your denominators. There are a lot and they are actually big. It will be difficult if you do method 1 here. So therefore, you have to do method 2. Okay, you can again pause the video and try to answer this. What is 3 fourths? That is 0.75. What is 5 6? Approximately 0.83, right? So letter B cannot be the answer because we're looking for the smallest, okay? Next, 7 eighths. What is 7 eighths? <clears throat> 70 divided by 8 is 8 also. Actually, you don't have to finish that because since you start with 8, just like with letter B, it will be deleted as well, okay? Because 0 0.75 is still smaller than that. How about 19 over 24? It's difficult if we divide 19 by 24, but if we compare 3 fourths and, let us just compare 3 fourths and 19 over 24. We can compare them, right, to similar fractions. For this to be 24, 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 3 is 18. So that means 3 fourths is still less than letter D. Delete. Now, we will compare 3 fourths and 13 over 20. Let's compare. 3 fourths and 13 over 20. What is this if the denominator is 20? 20 divided by 4 is 5 times 3 is 15. So 3 fourths is bigger than 13 over 20. So that gets deleted. The answer here is letter E. Which of the following is closest to 3 fourths? You can pause again your video to try to answer this. Let us now discuss. We want to get the distance, the smallest distance possible. In order to get the distance, for example, I ask you, what is the distance between 2 and 5? The answer is 5 minus 2 or 3. So that means you have to get the difference. Okay, so for letter A, we will get the difference of 3 fourths and 1 half. This one is same denominator, 4, this becomes 2. The distance is 1 fourth. Letter B, 3 fourths minus 7 over 12. The LCD is 12. This is we will just get the absolute value. Absolute value means you do not look at the sign. 7 minus 9, so that's negative 2, but you do not look at the... So this is 1, 6. You do not mind the sign, okay? Letter C. 3 fourths minus 5, 6. LCD is again 12. This becomes 9, 10. Right? Okay. So this is, again, we want the absolute value. Do not mind the 
sign, this becomes 1 over 12. Let's see. For D, 11 over 12 minus 3 fourths LCD of 12 again, 9. Right? This is 2 over 12 or 1, 6 also. Letter E, 19 over 24 minus 3 fourths LCD is 24 minus 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 3, 18. 1 over 24. So it's now a matter of choosing which one is the smallest. 1 fourth, 1 6, 1 12. Again, another 1 6 and 1 over 24. In this case, they all have the same numerator. If you have the same denominator, which one is the smallest? The smallest would be the one with the biggest denominator, right? So the smallest one here is 1 over 24. Because, for example, you have one whole. You divide it into 24 equal parts. Compare it with something wherein you have one whole, you divide it to 4 equal parts. This one will be smaller, right? And 1 over 24 is the distance of 19 over 24 from 3 fourths. Therefore, the answer here is letter 